good afternoon today we will see the next experiment as amplitude modulation and demodulation so this is a connection setup and output of the circuit we will see the step by step what we have to do in amplitude modulation and demodulation Generally, its amplitude modulation is defined as a as the process in which amplitude of the carrier wave is varied in accordance with instantaneous amplitude of message signal or modulating signal. The message signal may be its a low frequency baseband signal, and carrier signal is high frequency baseband signal. So, I said as a, a high frequency and low frequency. Practically, we will see about the carrier signal and mod modulating signal whether it's a low frequency or higher frequency uh, after the modulation process the spectrum of the message signal is trans translated from a, a low frequency band to high frequency band the spectrum of the message signal is translated from low frequency to high frequency so this is called as a conversion uh, maybe the amplitude modulation uh, is uh, translated to three types which is under modulation critical modulation and over modulation so we will see the uh, uh, we will apply these three three, three conditions and we will uh, see the how, how the output responses okay that means the amplitude output okay uh, the dsp sc and dsp and the vsp are used in the amplitude modulation techniques to save the transmitted power in the am demodulation uh the envelope direct we will be used the amplitude demodulation is also called as uh, that is uh, it's accomplished using a non linear device that is a diode which will be connected to the series that diagram also we will see, okay uh, the am modulator is widely used in commercial am uh, receivers the coherent demodulation techniques used for the demodulation of dsp sc signals Uh, so generally the modulation is used in the television reception uh, that is a vsp demodulation signals next we will see the circuit diagram of amplitude modulation and demodulation then we will go for the connection setup how we have to connect the those circuits and how we will have to calculate the output okay this is the circuit diagram of am modulator circuit here see this this is a circuit diagram of am modulator here we are using a transistor and also the capacitor its c configuration so here in the circuit the vc denotes that the carrier signal and vm shows that the modulating signal so these conditions i already said that the am modulation is in three conditions under modulation power modulation and critical modulation right so if vm signal is greater than means it's over over modulation if vm signal is equal to vc means it's critical modulation okay if is it's less it's under modulation and okay so we will move it on a model graph here the graph indicates that modulating signal so this is the modulating signal and output responses of the modulating signal so here the graph indicates am uh, envelope v out and it with respect to time with axis okay so here uh, here this is a modulating signal we are given then the maximum signal. so it is a v max signal and it's a vm so this is called as under modulation over modulation critical modulation Okay, this is a, we have to calculate the TEM wave. Okay, so this is a model graph for the modulated amplitude modulation of the signal. Okay, so this is a circuit for D modulator. So from that AM signal, AM modulated block, we have to given that that output as given as here the input signal. Uh, we have to calculate the capacitor value from the AM modulated signal. Then after finding of the capacitor value, we have to fix it on here. from the diode and use of uh, resistor and capacitor 
the modulated signal will be received as a demodulated signal here the rc is too large this is envelope detector output so we will get the demodulated signal as like that we will get the original signal okay in am modulation we have to note it the uh, all the values that is carrier modulating signal and modulated signal so from the um, um, amplitude modulation we have to note the carrier signal's frequency and amplitude for modulating signal also we have to uh, note it down the frequency and amplitude and modulated signal also we have to make uh, note it as v max and v minimum and we have to find out the modulation index here uh, we have to find out the capacitor value also okay so this is a model graph model sorry model tabulation which gives the values before going to see about the tabulation we will uh, going for the circuit connection and how it working how it works okay so compare these function generators i already made up of the connections of the circuit of the uh, am modulation here this is a transistor with the resistor and capacitor all we connections given based on the circuit diagram okay so from this connection uh, we have to give the uh, vm signal and also the vc signal so already i said about the conditions uh, for vm and uh, vc so if if the signal uh, frequency is greater than uh, if it is higher means that is called as vm that is called as vc signal if the signal frequency is uh, less than the uh, less number of frequency that is uh, it's very low frequency it's called called as modulating signal okay so from these two connection setups we will uh, connecting the wires to the uh, frequency uh, to the pcb that means breadboard we have to connecting the these wires here so from this connection i already said about that so the vc signal is once one side of is given to the capacitor point one, zero 01 microfarad and vm signal is given to the 0.01 microfarad and uh, uh, other end is grounded from that, that uh, other end side we have to take it as the am output okay so now here see that okay here see that this is a vm uh, this is a vc signal which is having a frequency of higher frequency of 1100 kilohertz from the connections i am saying so this is a vc uh, vm signal the frequency is lesser than that of vc sorry uh, vm so it, it's a vc signal. frequency is very low you see 300 hertz and given as amplitude as 1.90 volt so from that power supply i also give a 4 volt and from this uh, di display we will see the output of that amplitude modulated signal okay yeah, okay now next we will see how to calculate that uh, how to find the values of a uh, carrier signal modulating signal and also the modulated signal of maximum and v minimum okay so here I will set the frequency as 3000 hertz and also we have to note it down the values of uh, so we have to note it down the frequency values that is time division values ok so we will note it down and take it the reading as here we will note it down frequency amplitude so for example here 10k and 32 volt so again for modulating signal and amplitude signal we have to note it down we have to set the condition is uh, it's under damp under modulation or it's it's over modulation so with the frequency of this uh, vm is 3000 hertz and here the frequency is 300 hertz so from that we have to note it down the modulated signal so this is the modulated signal so we have otherwise we have changed the frequency value also So from this condition, we have to note down the values.
from here see here the modulation we have to given as vm as 2 volt and v maximum is 2.4 volt and minimum is 3.6 we, we have to calculate the modulation index for example uh, here we have how we have to calculate the modulation index is that there is a formula v max vm equal to we set the value as 2 volt here see the, the modulator signal is 1 kilohertz and amplitude is 3.2 volt and the modulator signal v max is 2.4 volt minimum is 1 volt therefore the modulation index is 0.411 okay so we have to calculate the modulation index okay so here v max is 2 volt 1 volt vm is 2 volt v minimum is 0.24 volt here vm equal to v max uh, minus v minimum divided by v max plus v minimum here the value is 1 minus 0 0.2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.6 0.6 here we have to calculate the rc rc equal to rho square root of 1 minus m square divided by omega m to m so from this substitute the value we get this rc equal to 2.2 10 power minus 4 here we know the value of r r that is 22 kilo ohm i think so so from that c we will find the 0 0.01 microfarad so from the modulated amplitude modulated signal of the uh, signal we, we have to uh, take it this output as given to the demodulated circuit so uh, from the demodulated circuit we substitute the uh, c value as point what we have to find that is what we find on that uh, 0.01 microfarad right? we have to here we have to this is 0.01 microfarad so uh, if we if you given this circuit we will getting that uh, modulated signal as that is demodulated signal as here this is a, this, the simple graph model graph shows that the uh, demodulated signal from that we will get the original signal so this is the experiment uh, of amplitude modulated signal so that the main thing is that we have to calculate the from that observation we have to calculate the amplitude modulation carrier signal modulating signal frequency and modulated signal from that we have to repeat the calculation by varying the modulated amplitude signal magnitude here we have to vary these type of this uh, if it, if it increases frequency the modulation also adjusts here see okay see here i have said it the frequency is 30 kilohertz and amplitude is 7.3 volt here that frequency is 800 hertz and sine of its amplitude is 4.0 volt so we will get the output as here see like that so this is the amplitude modulated signal output so this is the experiment setup and the uh, detailed uh, experiment uh, explanation of this amplitude modulation and demodulation so already i said that the given what we get is as a output here see so this circuit the output will be given to the demodulated circuit with the finding the capacitor value and r, r value we will substitute uh, we will give this uh, circuit output given to the demodulated circuit we will get the original modulated signal that means we will get the original signal okay this is the experimental setup and explanation of the amplitude modulation okay so uh, i already we seen that the connections of uh, 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 function generator and the power supplies and the resistor and transistor capacitors so this is a function generator connections of vm and vc so here this is a connection setup of, of uh, modulation okay okay thank you students uh, sorry again for the, uh, the we have to condition yes uh, over modulation or under modulation we have to find it the critical modulation by adjusting the functions of function generator values that is frequency values of uh, function generator both vm and vc okay M mostly we will keep it as the value as uh, uh, mostly the vc should be higher and vm is lesser okay and also we have to find out the demodulated capacitor and time period okay okay thank you